what an honour to be able to help lead a future generation of girls and women so they don't miss out like I had to. So I want you this weekend to go out there as if it's going to be the last game that you ever play. I want you to fly through the whole season and really enjoy each other's company as you do it. When I was little, I never really questioned why I couldn't be on the grass, but in my household, I was not excluded from any discussions on football. I was allowed to play king of the pack with my brothers and their friends all the time. Apparently, I just followed Dad here all the time. He was coaching and Mum kept a little article saying that Swans had a new fan and I would come and watch training and I got really excited at games. One of the first times that I was actually allowed to be involved in a football club was at Swan Districts. And so I put my hand up, volunteered to be a trainer for the league and the then Colts team. They won three premierships in a row. <laughs> so 23 years later, I was asked to build the women's AFL. Anything new has opposition for a start. And, and she had to overcome a lot of hurdles. Even questioning, won't the women lose their femininity by playing this game, because it's so brutal. We ran focus groups across the whole of Australia to work out that girls loved the physicality of the game. They loved being able to safely tackle and bump and do all of that stuff that really challenged their bodies. When we had the research to then put in front of the decision makers to say, this is what the girls love about the game, so give them that experience. That first game in 2017 was just equal parts goosebump material, watching this sellout crowd, knowing there was 3,000 people outside who couldn't get in, and so much joy and pride. I truly believe I can't properly articulate what it means to be the first woman to be inducted into the WA Football Hall of Fame. You know, she'd done so much hard work. To have a father and daughter rewarded in the same manner made us so proud of her. And there's a lot of dads kicking with their daughters now, not just their sons. And there's a lot of mums kicking with their sons, not just their daughters. So when I see that, and I know that those families have got a love of the game, my heart feels full.